What is going on there, everyone? Um, this is something that the left should be worried about instead of all the nonsensical BS that they uh, always, you know, all those narratives they're always pushing. You know, homophobia, xenophobia, this, the, uh, the open border, you know, all that nonsense crap that they like a lot and that they seem to make big deals out of. Well, they're arguing about the wrong things. Look at this. Trump has appointed 25%, a quarter of all circuit court judges. That's huge. I knew his numbers were pretty big. I knew he was he was out out uh, confirming judges more than any other president. But I didn't realize the exact scope of how much he is changing the court systems towards the conservative uh, lean. You know that awesome, awesome. The implications of this are are, are thing. This is gonna be so lasting because these are lifetime appointments the implications are going to be so devastating for these progressive weirdo leftists let's get into the story president donald trump has appointed more judges in less than three years to the circuit courts than any of his uh, two-term predecessors going back to ronald reagan that's a long time ago a Senate-confirmed uh, William Nardini on Thursday to the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit Court, making 25% of Circuit Court judges Trump appointees. That was uh, the president's 45th pick, higher than the number of judges appointed by all presidents from Reagan to Obama, the Washington Examiner noted. C-SPAN uh, Capitol Hill producer Craig uh, Kaplan noted the milestone and remarks from today's Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, who said, At the close of business today, it uh, so happens, one in every four judges on the federal courts of appeals will have been nominated by President Trump and confirmed uh, by us here in the Senate. This is really awesome news for us conservatives. you got to think of it on, on this. What do we always see? Frivolous lawsuits. It's one thing I can't stand about our country is so many frivolous lawsuits against the Trump administration, against conservative businesses, against religious businesses, this, that, and the other. You know what? With all the with all these judges being appointed to these appeals courts and everything. I think we're going to start seeing a lot more common sense rulings come out on these lawsuits and stuff like that. We will see. It's still yet to be determined. But, um, boy, this is big. This is big for the conservatives. This is awful for um, the Democrats and the leftists in general. More leftists than Democrats. Because uh, regular Democrats... Yeah, they, they're kind of still based in reality, for the most part. But the leftists, this should really, really be disturbing to y'all. Because uh, it'll keep conservative values moving through our court system, which should be. This president and this Senate have prioritized confirming impressive men and women to these lifetime appointments, McConnell added, according to the examiner. Circuit court judges have consistently blocked Trump's executive orders, especially with regards to immigration policy. A ninth uh, circuit court judge overruled Trump's decision to end the deferred action DACA program. Oh, this is gonna be big. It's a oh, it's gonna be so big. It's it's just to me, it's it's a great thing because you know I'm a conservative, so having these judges. Because, I mean, you got to think about what a judge is actually doing. Judges are supposed to be there to, to, you know, interpret the law properly. Make sure the law is being interpreted properly. Well, in a lot of cases we've seen with left-leaning judges, they put just straight-up opinion into all of their uh, 
cases we've seen is a lot of opinion. Not not all. I will say that not all. I can't use a blanket statement, but a lot of them would just straight up use their own personal opinion and instead uh, instead of going strictly with the laws on the books. And that is that has screwed up a lot of things that uh, we conservatives and uh, President Trump has tried to get pushed through, especially regarding immigration or illegal aliens. So uh, it's big, people. The president campaigned in 2016 on establishing a conservative Republican presence in the judicial branch of government that may have uh, accused uh, that many have uh, accused of being too activist in applying the law. Agreed. That's like I was like like I was just saying. It's because they they put more of their personal feelings and opinions into their rulings than actually just following the laws. It's it's nonsensical. Trump has appointed two conservative judges to the Supreme Court of the United States and has also focused on the circuit courts that have a significant influence uh, on whether government policies are upheld or struck down. And if we could just get Ruth Bader Ginsburg out of there, if we could just get her out of there, I mean, I'm not, I, I wish she would, I personally just wish she would say, all right, you know what, I'm old as dirt. It's time to let someone younger take my place. But she's not going to do that. No, that old woman, as much as I can't particularly stand her and her uh, very progressive ideals, I give her some respect because she knows, she knows the implications of if she leaves and Trump gets to appoint a third uh, Supreme Court justice. It'll it'll pretty much have stacked the Supreme Court justices in the conservative rulings and favors. So I get what she's doing, and and by God, I'll say it. I give her, I respect it to a point because her health's failing. Cognitively, she doesn't seem that that bad compared to someone even like Joe Biden. She's a little bit sharper than him, but come on, man. Come on. I do got to say, even even in the case of these judges being appointed by Trump, I personally hate lifetime appointments. I think uh, there should be time limits, you know. But that's neither here nor there. Trump's nomination of Brett Kavanaugh to the Supreme Court sparked a backlash from Democrats and liberal critics who demanded the appointment be rescinded over allegations of past sexual misconduct. Over, see that? Over allegations. No proof. Actually, uh, pretty much all the proof came to be against his accuser when even her friends that were friends with hers at the time and everything said, oh, I don't recall that ever happening. I don't recall her ever mentioning this, but this, that, and the other. I mean, more people were coming out against Blasey Ford than against Brett Kavanaugh. And the people that were coming out against Brett Kavanaugh it was found to all be lies. Or political motivations behind it. I mean, even her lawyer, Ford's lawyer, admitted that there was, yes, a political uh, a political uh, meaning behind what they were actually doing. It, it, it was just nonsense. And the, the whole country saw that and felt that. And look what happened. Kavanaugh got confirmed. It's crazy. And yet you've got places like ABC... That won't even run an actual good story, bombshell story, about Epstein because they said, oh, we can't prove enough of it. So, these are allegations? But you went crazy over Brett Kavanaugh with allegations and not factual evidence. But yet, when we had previous evidence of someone like Epstein doing the horrid things that he did... You just let the story go away to protect a bunch of people. But that, that's a whole different subject. What we're looking at here is the complete disruption of the left-wing activist judges that have been very prominent in getting a lot of good uh, propositions shut down. We're seeing them slowly be replaced by conservatives. 
This is a good thing. This is this is something that is going to affect our country for decades to come. Those liberals, if you're if you're worried about anything leftist, this is what you should be worried about. Not all that nonsense that y'all are always spewing about uh, the right wing being racist, xenophobic, homophobic. For some reason, y'all even call us anti-Semites, uh, which, uh, if you look at the evidence, uh, seems like the left is more anti-Semitic than anything, while still trying to hold the hand of the Jews. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get, I don't get y'all's party at all. Really, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I mean, y'all are going through an internal civil war with the progressives and the, and the regular liberals. I just don't understand your party that much anymore. Y'all have devolved into nonsense. And hopefully, for the for the benefit of our whole country, y'all soon figure this crap out. And, uh, you know, uh, just get rid of the uh, pro super progressives in your party. Oust them. Uh ostracize them, do something, because y'all need to do something. Y'all are going to let y'all's party just keep falling. Keep falling. Y'all are very distrusted, especially with this whole impeachment nonsense. It's just the whole Ukrainian nonsense. It's just a continuation of the Russian nonsense. It's a hoax. It's a farce. It's a scam. But I've digressed into something completely different. But I'd love to hear your comments on this. You know, the conservatives are stacking the federal courts, and I think it's a great thing. You know, get some more, uh, some better values, and uh, actually go with the laws instead of personal feelings. It'll be a good thing. As always, like, share, and subscribe. I will catch you all on the flip side.